welcome students so in this session we will see the reasoning question of group 16 elements oxygen is a gas while sulfur is a solid so this is a gas and molecule sulfur in the same group is a solid why because oxygen exists as a diatomic molecule while sulfur is exists as a staggered or eight atoms rings in a zigzag chains why because oxygen has a pi bonds of pp orbitals while in sulfur it is incapable of forming pi bonds of pp orbitals why the reason is due to the big size of the sulfur oxygen oxygen in oxygen uh, bond energy is o2 is less than the sulfur sulfur bond energy in acid or we can say that sulfur poses maximum catenating nature among the group 16 elements so in this case actually bond energy of catenation in sulfur is appreciably higher and maximum oxygen forms the pp pi bonds to develop diatomic nature whereas in sulfur it forms the puckered ring structures and there is no pp pi bonding due to the larger in size the tendency to show minus 2 oxygen state is diminishes from sulfur to polonium so down the group it is decreasing so why because uh, sulfur to polonium the atomic radii increases and effective nuclear charge both in and electronegative both it is decreasing these two are increasing but effective nuclear charge these are decreasing so tendency to show minus 2 oxygen state also diminishes down the group so given example where oxygen atom is so this is oxygen atom is unicoordinate bicoordinate tricoordinate or tetracoordinate means atom there is only one oxygen two oxygen three oxygen four oxygen so in this case unicoordinate we example is amine oxide this is the one oxygen is there with this nitrogen so this is a positive this is a negative in bicoordinate it is very common like water so oxygen attached with the two atoms tricoordinate is oxonium ions like s3o plus r2h plus roh2 plus so in this cases this structure is becomes geometrical but if you take, if you take uh, CS3, SG3, O, this, plus, this is a planar geometry. So normally this type of asked in the question is asked in the examinations. In case of tetra coordinate, so in solid PBO or MG4, OBR6, C4, H2, no, so these are the tetra coordinate in which oxygen atom is, is present. A stability of hydride of group 16 element decreases from water to H2T. Why? Because the bonding orbital of the central atom that is the central atom means oxygen to terrarium whatever becomes larger and more diffuse that's why the overlap with a small one is orbital of hydrogen becomes less effective so this is our answer 2s is a stronger acid than water so this is answer actually in this h2s hs bond is weaker than ho bond and the proton is more released easily when h2s react with the water Hydrogen sulfide is a better reducing agent than water and H2S is or you can say H2S is thermally less stable than water. So reason is because in H2S the SH sulfur bond is larger and so weaker than the OH bond. So hence H2S is better reductant. SF6 is known but SCL6 is not known. So is it not known? So why explain? Due to the larger size of the chlorine atom because here size of the chlorine is larger than the size of the fluorine. And next is stirring crowding in SL6 makes it unstable. That's why H, uh, SCL6 is not, not known. SF6 has zero dipole moment but SF4 has a non-zero dipole moment. So explain. Actually in SF6, this, uh, it is molecule is symmetrical molecule. So it is octahedral. But in SF4, the molecule is uh, in the shape of the seesaw shape. You can see the saw shape. So in this case, what happens, the dipole moment is not zero. So this is shifting each other. But in symmetrical molecules, all molecules are, here the dipole moment is, in this case, it is zero. It is symmetrical octahedral structure. So that's why it has zero dipole and it has, uh, SF4 does not have a zero dipole moment. Liquid oxygen stick to magnetic poles but liquid nitrogen not. So actually oxygen is paramagnetic, it is a magnetic character, it has two unpaired electrons while nitrogen is a diamagnetic. When oxygen is cooled be uh, below a certain temperature, its paramagnetic character decreases. Why? Because due to the formation of O4 or O2 whole twice species in case of oxygen in which electrons get paired. That's why it is cooled below a certain temperature, its paramagnetic character decreases. 
ozone is not present in lower atmosphere explain or you can say ozone is heavier than air still it is found in a stratosphere so actually in case of ozone in lower atmosphere ozone is produced in lower atmosphere means in our troposphere ozone is produced but due to pollutants so it it get split up again ozone is split up and it convert into oxygen but in uh, in a stratosphere this phenomena does not happen so it can easily convert into ozone so uh, this uh, oxygen is reacting with in presence of uh, sunlight that is the uh, as sunlight so it is again converted into nascent oxygen this nascent oxygen combined with the o2 and form a ozone ozone destroys mercury meniscus why because ozone oxidizes mercury to Z2, mercury oxides, which starts sticking to glass. So it is sticking to the glass and loses its mobility. Hence, mercury loses its meniscus in contact with ozone. However, it can regain by H2O2. Why is ozone used as a sterilizing agent? Ozone is a anti ozone poses antibacterial nature and thus used as a sterilizing agent. Ozone is more reactive than oxygen. Actually, formation of ozone takes place with absorption of energy and thus it poses higher energy. That is an endothermic compound which is less stable. So this is our reason why ozone is less reactive than oxygen. Why does sulfur in vapor state exhibit paramagnetic behavior? Because in vapor state, the sulfur partly exists as a S2 molecule. So in vapor state, it is existing as a X2, S2 molecule, having two unpaired electrons. So this having two unpaired electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbitals like oxygen. So thus, it also shows the paramagnetic nature. Hydrogen sulfide is a poisonous case. Why? Because it is combining with the hemoglobin to form a sulfide hemoglobin. And this is an irreversible reaction. Nitric acid cannot be used to prepare H2S. Why? Because nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. So it will oxidize H2S. So H2S in presence of nitric acid will convert into nitrogen dioxide, sulfur plus water. That's why it cannot be used as a used to prepare hydrogen sulfide gas. Concentrated H2S support cannot be used for drying up H2S. Explain. Actually, in case of concentrated H2S support, it is oxidizing uh, hydrogen sulfide to sulfur, like this one. So it, can, it cannot be used for drying up H2S gas because of formation of sulfur dioxide and sulfur. Why turbidity is obtained by passing H2S in aqueous solution of sulfur dioxide? Why? Because in case of aqueous solution of sulfur dioxide and H2S, it undergoes a redox changes to produce colloidal sulfur as a white turbidity. So this is a reaction H2S in H2SO3, it is giving your this sulfur. This is a colloidal sulfur which is giving white turbidity. Ammonium sulfide gives a false smell when damp. Why? Because it is undergoing hydrolysis reaction. So on hydrolysis reactions, it gives a false smell when damp. Hydrogen sulfide acts only as a reducing agent, while sulfur dioxide can act both as a reducing agent plus oxidizing agent. Explain. Because in case of sulfur, in case of sulfur dioxide, having oxygen state is plus 4. So this sulfur has a plus 4 oxygen state and this plus 4 lies between minimum oxygen states and maximum oxygen state. So it can act as a reducing agent, it can act as an oxidizing agent. But in case of sulfur dioxide, here the oxygen state of sulfur is minus 2. So it will only act as a reductant or reducing agent. Sulfur dioxide does not bleach dry flowers. So explain because sulfur dioxide in presence of water it is forming sulfuric acid plus nascent oxygen. This nascent oxygen is a responsible for making color, uh, color substance into or bleaching color substance to colorless flower. So with this nascent oxygen is reacting with any colored flower it becomes colorless. So this is a temporary bleaching.